Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be discussing Moises Caicedo, the Brighton midfielder and Ecuador international. And yeah, he's gone on a little bit of a mad one on social media because he has taken to Twitter and Instagram, of course, as well, to express his desire to uh, leave Brighton and Hove Albion Football Club with immediate effect instead of, you know, just going to the hierarchy of the club and handing in an official transfer request. He's gone to social media and he's had this to say. I am grateful to Mr. Bloom, Tony Bloom, that is uh, Brighton's owner, and Brighton for giving me the chance to come to the Premier League and I feel I've always done my best for them. I always play football with a smile and with heart. I am the youngest of 10 siblings from a poor upbringing in Santo Domingo in Ecuador. My dream always was to be the most decorated player in the history of Ecuador. I am proud to be able to bring in a record transfer fee for Brighton which would allow them to reinvest it and help the club to be successful. The fans have taken me into their hearts and they will always be in my heart so I hope they can understand why I want to take up this magnificent opportunity. So um, yeah, he has um, you know said that on Twitter and Instagram. The most noticeable thing though is that he's not verified on Twitter. I mean, Twitter, sort your shit out because this is a player, a human being rather, that's looking to be sold of upwards to 60, 70 million pounds and he's not got that verification take on Twitter. So um, yeah, sort your stuff out Twitter. But obviously that is besides the point and um, yeah, to be honest, I just really question the timing more than anything to be fair because there's only four days left of the January transfer window. I don't see what good doing at this, at this time, you know, does for anyone really in this scenario. And I think what's happened, I think he's, you know, panicked in terms of the fact that, um, you know, Arsenal are fresh off a 60 million million pound bid which Brighton have of course turned down I think he's panicked and thought when will I ever get this opportunity again for this for this big move you know I'm sure a lot of players do think like that when they're making decisions on transfers of you know they might not get this opportunity again it's not guaranteed in football especially given anything can happen in the second half of a season an injury a dip in form and yeah I think simply put he's um, seen that Arsenal bid and you know perhaps the Chelsea bid a week earlier as well and just you know panicked a little bit and thought yeah I mean Chelsea and Arsenal or those kind of big clubs could easily go for other options like a Declan Rice if he become, become available in the summer Enzo Fernandez again Chelsea have been linked with as well if he becomes available in the summer even someone like you know Romeo Lavia for example from Southampton and yeah I think he's not really thought it through I mean his agents have um, changed recently as well I know for a fact he's got new agents so um, maybe they've you know advised him for or against this but that remains to be seen but yeah I think he's you know had a bit of a howler here to be honest because um, yeah I think he's panicked into a decision I don't think he's you know thought it through whatsoever and uh, kind of has messed up his rapport with the Brighton fans especially given the fact that if he you know stays till the end of the season at the very least and I know he's gone about it in a decent way and he's you know worded it quite decent to try and you know help his reputation stick with Brighton fans but I don't think there's any coming back from that in terms of you know the Brighton fans really really adoring him especially given the fact that he's come out on social media and done it rather than doing it behind the scenes and yeah it just shows that he's absolutely desperate for that move to be honest and uh, it's no disrespect to Brighton whatsoever because obviously they're not used to doing this they're a selling club and Kai said was just another one of those players who's come through the revolving door and cycle if you like of you know players that are signed for cheap and made it to superstars that are sold for upwards of 50, 60, 70, 80 million. I'm talking about the likes of Ben White who's come through the academy, went to Arsenal for 50 million in you know 2021. I'm talking to Mark Cucurella who in the summer went from Brighton to Chelsea after signing for 15, 20 million pounds or something, being sold for 60. I'm talking about even players that are still at the club like Kairo Matoma who was signed for like less than 2 million. He was signed for like pennies really and now will probably in the next few years be sold for 40 or 50 million. And look, even though, like I said, Brighton have this unbelievable scouting network, there's no guarantee whatsoever that they're going to be able to properly find a replacement for him in this next four days and that's why Brighton are a smart club they won't be pushed into this whatsoever and they will make sure that if you know, Caicedo does go that they'll get their bang for their buck you know they'll sell him for probably what 80 90 million pounds at absolute minimum and this is what I mean they won't be pushed over they'll get exactly the amount of money they want for Caicedo if they don't he'll stay put till the end of the season or until they do get that fee so the only hope for Caicedo now is that uh, an Arsenal or a Chelsea or a Liverpool or whoever want, he wants to come in for them are willing to pay that money for him because if not it's going to be a pretty awkward last you know second half of the season for Caicedo Caicedo at Brighton. And look, if he doesn't go now, he'll probably go in the summer and, you know, Brighton probably will find, you know, some plucky, you know, number six from the Venezuelan second division and turn him into the next fucking Casemiro because that's just what they do. And then eventually in like three or four years, they'll sell him to a Man City or a Man United or a Liverpool for like 60 million. But the point now for Brighton is the fact that I don't think four days in the end of a January transfer window is enough to really go in depth in the player. I'm sure they've, you know, had a short list of players just in case Caicedo was to leave in this January window, but obviously it would be harsh on them. And that's why I think that they'll make sure they get the absolute most that they can get of a transfer fee for Caicedo if he does leave in the next four days. And if you're asking for my opinion and what I think is going to happen, I think he'll stay put at Brighton, to be honest. I don't think that Arsenal or Chelsea or especially Liverpool, who, you know, haven't made a bid yet, but, you know, have expressed interest in him. I don't think any team really at this moment in time, especially Chelsea, given the money they've spent in this transfer window so far, are going to be willing to pay 80, 90 million pounds for a player who has only really been, you know, a top level Premier League player for about a year now, really. And obviously he has massive potential in terms of his abilities as a six or even as an eight as well. I mean, 
team. His off the ball work in terms of his defensive work is absolutely brilliant. He gets around the pitch well. He has a great engine. His ability on the ball is very good. And I do think he'd be an absolutely quality, quality signing for Chelsea, Arsenal, or Liverpool, especially Liverpool. I can't believe they've not not expressed much of an interest in him or not even you know tested the waters with a bid because I think he suits what they need absolutely down to a T. But yeah, it should be an interesting one for the next few days in the transfer window to see how this one pans out. To be fair, and uh, as I said, I think it's they put a Brighton unless an astronomical bid that you know Brighton see worthwhile of accepting comes in from one of those big clubs but Brighton fans let me know what you think down in the comment section below do you um you don't know, respect Caicedo for this or has he gone down in your estimations for it do you think he'll move in the next four days or do you think he'll stay put with Brighton and move in the summer let me know in the comment section below and um yeah leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it it'd be massively appreciated and also if you could subscribe to the channel as well that would also be hugely appreciated because we are looking to hit 1,800 subscribers on this channel as soon as we possibly can so yeah every subscription really helps in terms of you know going for that goal and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video